I'll tell you this Okashira screw head and three inch spark shad is super, super deadly, especially when the fish are suspending, whether it be spots or largemouth. When the fish are suspended up off the bottom, one of my favorite ways to catch them is to see them on the graph. I will troll off to this spot and basically throw right back to where I was, let my bait sink down three to four or five feet of water and start slow rolling it back. So that fish right there was in five feet of water. I'm gonna troll off this spot a little bit and try to cast right on top of it. From there, I'm just gonna slow wind it back to the boat. Every time that blade does a revolution, there's a high spot and a low spot. So it's bop, 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 bop. It's almost like a mini chatter bait. It's really, really cool. No other bait has that sound or that vibration underneath the water. And whenever I'm finesse swim baiting, whether it be the original Okashira head without the blade or an Okashira screw head, it's just a real low and slow, steady retrieve. I've got my rod tip pointed right at the bait coming back. It's just a nice slow retrieve. I can feel that blade bup, 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 bup. And when one eats it, a lot of times they'll eat it and swim towards you. You almost lose contact with the bait. And I keep my rod loaded, pointed straight towards the fish. When I feel that bite, it's just a nice steady sweep, almost like a Carolina rig That's hook set. Good. Nice steady okay. sweep, 20 pound test braided line, eight pound test leader, just a nice, steady sweep with a seven foot four rod. I keep that rod loaded and I'll land 100% of those bites. We're just off a long sloping point here. There's some bait fish in the area. It's real cloudy so the fish aren't really relating to one specific rock or one specific brush pile. They're just floating around kind of in the middle of the water column and that's when this Okashira screw head and spark shad combo really shine. When the fish are just kind of wandering around the water column, oh and they see a little three inch snack coming through and it's got that perfect vibration from the screw head, they just have to eat it. I want to throw this in 10 mile per hour wind or less. You know, you can't really throw this when it's really gas and really, you know, 15 to 20 because it's so light and it's such a finesse presentation. You know, you ever been on one of those just really good jerk bait bites or really good spinner bait bites and, and when they come off of that, you know, you catch a good limit doing that and there's still some fish in the area, but they're no longer biting the bigger stuff like the jerk baits and the spinner baits. The Okashira screw head is a perfect thing to pick up because it's got the vibration of a spinner bait, like a mini chatter bait, but it's got the profile of a finesse swim bait and a lot of times making that adjustment after having a good morning will get you a few extra bites.